Hi, I'm uh, Art Tarola. I'm with Evector Aircraft. Uh, we import Evector Aircraft uh, to the United States. I've been doing this for about 15 years and we're standing here at the Sebring U.S. Sport Aviation Showcase in 2019. Very nice to be here. It's beautiful weather and uh, nice to get out of the Pennsylvania cold where I import these airplanes and have since 2004. So the Evector aircraft is built by Evector Aerotechnique in the Czech Republic, who's been building aircraft for many, many years. Uh, in uh, the light sport category, the Evector aircraft uh, was imported in 2004, but before that, this aircraft was built in uh, Europe and flew in the Czech Republic and other countries as uh, ultralights or microlights, depending on what country you were in different weight categories, anywhere from 450 kilos up to 600 kilo category. This aircraft is uh, in the 600 kilo category and that's really what the light sport rule was written around the uh, already existing European aircraft. So in 2004 when the light sport rule was finished, the first airplane to be certified here in the United States was the Evector Sportstar aircraft. The light sport aircraft and the, and the category uh, would be for people who aren't interested in doing the, their flying commercially, but more interested in doing as personal flying, or who are interested in an, a quicker way to get into aviation as a step to their next uh, rating as private pilot or commercial pilot or flight instructor uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, the, uh, the Avector aircraft in particular is used on very many sc flight schools. We have more hours, we have over a million hours of time in flight schools. People who are interested in flying this airplane may find it in their flight schools and, uh, and, and uh, get used to it there. It is very, very strong, very robust aircraft and uh, that's why it's so well liked in the flight schools. The Vector offers three different power plants in, the, in, the, uh, ro in, the, uh, in their aircraft. They're all Rotax power plants. One is a 912 ULS, which is 100 horsepower. They have a 912 IS, which is a fuel-injected 100 horsepower, and they offer the 914 engine. The 914 is a uh, 115 horsepower engine. It's uh, turbocharged, so it works better in high-density altitudes, such as higher elevations or hotter climates. The Vector climbs out, well, it takes off in just a couple hundred feet, lands in maybe 500 feet or less, depending on the winds and the conditions. Uh, climbs at an easy 1,500 feet a minute on a normal day. Uh, it uh, cruises at 117 to 120 knots, which is the limit of the light sport category. It burns 4.1 gallons at full cruise in the fuel injected engine and about five and a half gallons with the carbureted engine. My experience flying this airplane uh, to this show this year was just remarkable. I love this airplane. It's so easy to fly. Uh, at, in Pennsylvania where I left from it was minus two degrees Fahrenheit. I do have the airplane warmed up in a hangar but it was cold outside. It was blowing 28 knots. Um, it was just after snow, so there was frozen snow all over the place, but the runways were clear. We took off and the airplane behaved just so nicely, got us to an altitude where there were no more bumps, and we had a beautiful tailwind, as much as 50 knots on the way down here. It knocked a couple hours off my flight. Perfectly smooth flight at either 6,500 or 8,500. I stopped once, uh, although an eight gallon, or eight, uh, our flight we have enough fuel for we have 32 uh, gallons of fuel in the tank uh, we do like to make a stop at the midway point which was about three three and a half hours depending on the winds that could be more but we had a pretty quick flight down here to Florida these aircraft uh, can be ordered in the customer specifications everyone is built custom to the uh, the customers uh, requirements some may want a fuel injected engine or a carbureted engine. So may want a, power, a, a parachute, a rescue parachute, um, Dynon a avionics or Garmin avionics or just round gauges. So we have a variety of prices. In fact, no two airplanes cost exactly the same. 
but our airplanes will range from, in a finished condition, uh, 112000 to as much as $165,000. So if you came to me today and you were interested in buying one of these aircraft, we would sit down and find out what exactly you were looking for in the aircraft, what instrumentation, what, uh, what brakes, uh, what color paint, the type of interior. Do you want leather interior or a fabric interior? What color would you like it to be? So it's custom made to your specifications. Then we would write this order down and we'd uh, submit the order to the factory. At that time, you would put a deposit down when the factory uh, accepts our offer to them. And from that point on, it would be 120 days. It should be leaving the factory completely built, put on a, uh, a ship and, uh, and sent here to the U.S. where we'd reassemble uh, it and uh, deliver it to the customer or have the customer pick it up. If you'd like to find out more about the Vector aircraft, you can go to my website at www.abflight.com or phone me at 610-762-9909.